geometric construction is a chapter where you can score out of marks but here you have to be very conscious that whatever is given you must understand correctly and accordingly if you construct then only you are going to get out of marks in this chapter otherwise there are chances to lose the marks this chapter weightage is less but you can get out of marks in this chapter if you study only six different types of construction so by less study here it's chances to get good marks so let's revise the whole chapter in a series of one shot one chapter where in short span i'm going to completely revise the chapter and today's chapter as you know is geometric construction hi namaste welcome to my youtube channel here i'm going to solve only six sum and if you thoroughly learn them it's very easy for you to construct in your board paper so let's move towards the first sum of today and here we have to draw a circle whose radius is 3.3 cm and we have to draw chord pq whose length is 6.6 .6 cm and we have to draw tangent to circle at point p and q so first of all we have to draw a circle whose radius is 3.3 cm so let us draw so this is a radius 3.3 cm and let us draw a circle okay we will take center of circle as o and here the radius is 3.3 and chord is 6.6 .6. So chord is twice the radius. So what is that chord? That is a diameter. So let's draw diameter of this circle. And this diameter PQ is having length that is 6.6 centimeter. So the longest chord of circle is its diameter and here radius is 3.3 so diameter is 6.6 .6, and that is the longest chord. Now we have to draw tangent at point P and point Q. So let us expand this line and here also Let us draw perpendicular at point P and Q and that will be the tangent at point P and Q and for that you have to keep your compass here and you have to take two arcs from P. Similarly we will put at point Q and we will draw two arcs. Now little bit we have to increase the compass and keep here and draw one arc upward, one arc downward. Put your compass here and draw the intersecting arcs. Similarly, you put here also and draw one arc upward and one arc downward and from here one arc up and down. So, let's draw the tangent at point P and Q. So, this is one tangent at point P. Let us call it line L and here the another tangent at point Q. Let us call it line M. As they are tangent, they are perpendicular to chord PQ. So we got two tangents at point P and Q and they are line L and line M. So now we are on the second sum of today and here triangle RST is similar to triangle XYZ. In triangle RST, RS is 4.5 cm, angle RST is 40 degree and segment ST is equals to 5.7 cm. From this information we have to construct triangle RST and triangle XYZ if 
R S upon X Y is equals to three upon five. So let's start from given that triangle R S T is similar to triangle X Y Z. Triangle RST is similar to triangle XYZ, and when both the triangles are similar, corresponding sides are in proportion. So, what will be in proportion? One two one two RS upon XY, two three two three ST upon YZ, one three one three RT upon XZ. Corresponding sides of similar triangle. Now let us first. What is the value of R S? R S is four point five upon X Y. S T is five point seven upon Y Z. And R S upon X Y. The ratio is given three upon five. Given. All these values are given. Now let us take first ratio and last ratio. 4.5 upon x y is 3 upon 5. Therefore, x y is equals to x y will come up. 5 will move up and 3 will come down. So 4.5 into 5 upon 3. 3 ones are 3 ones are 3 fives are 5 fives are 25 to carry 5 ones are 7.5 centimeter. So what is the value of x y? That is 7.5 centimeter. Now let us take second and third ratio. That is 5.7 upon y z is equals to 3 upon 5. 5 will move up, 3 will come down, and y z will move up. So y z is equals to 5.7 into 5.7 into 5 upon 3. 3 ones are 3 ones are 3 nines are. Five nines are forty-five. Four carry five nines are five plus four nine centimeter. So here I got y z, which is nine point five centimeter. See, if two triangles are similar, corresponding angles are congruent. So angle R S T is forty degree. Then angle X Y Z will be also forty degree. Angle R S T congruent to angle X Y Z that is equals to 40 degree corresponding angle of similar triangle. Now, first of all, let us draw R S T and then X Y Z. So, in R S T, which is the longest segment, that is S T, that is 5.7. So, let us take 5.7 as a base. So this is ST, which is 5.7 centimeter. Now angle S is 40 degree. So let's take protector and draw angle which is of 40 degree. And now we have to draw RS, which is 4.5. So let us take four point five on compass. It is R here. This point is R, and this is four point five. And let's draw triangle. And I've got the triangle R S T. Here it is forty degree. Now let us draw triangle X Y Z, and in triangle X Y Z, Y Z which is nine point five, we have to take base because seven point five is a small segment compared to that nine point five is a greater segment. So take Y Z which is nine point five as a base. So I have taken Y Z. Which is nine point five centimeter. Let us take protector and draw the angle of forty degree. See, it is here forty degree. So draw that angle. 
And now what is there? That is xy which is 7.5. So let's take xy which is 7.5. So here we got x. It is 7.5 centimeter. And let's draw the triangle. Segment xz. And here, what is the question to draw the triangle RST and triangle XYZ and we have done the job. So now we are on third sum of geometric construction. It is a third type of construction where we have to draw a circle whose radius is 3.6 cm and we have to draw tangent to any point of circle without using center of the circle. So let's draw first of all a circle with radius 3.6 cm. So I have taken 3.6 cm radius and let us draw a circle. Now here we, there is no need to point a circle center because we are not going to use it. Now draw a tri triangle here. Like this you have to draw a triangle. And now level the triangle like A, B, C. I want to draw here tangent at point C. And how the steps are, look here. First you have to keep uh, your compass at point A. And you have to draw like this R. Same measure you have to take, you have to keep compass at point C. And you have to draw the R. So you have put your compass at C and same arc you have you must draw. Now you have to keep the compass here and intersecting arc you must draw somewhere. So the you have to increase and decrease the compass so that this arc and line will touch by this compass. The same measure you have to take and you have to make arc here. Now from this intersecting arc and C, draw a line and see that that line is tangent to the circle at point C. So line L, line L is a tangent to circle at point C. And here we have not used center of circle and without using center of circle, we draw tangent to a circle at point C. So now we are on the fourth type of construction and here we have to draw a circle whose radius is 3.4 cm and its center is E. On circle we have to take point F and we have to take point A in such a way that E dash F dash A and F A is equals to 4.1 cm. At end we have to draw tangents from point A to the circle. So let's draw the circle whose radius is 3.4 cm. So this is a radius 3.4 cm. Let us draw it. This is a circle and the center name is E. We have to take point on circle who is F. So I will draw like this a ray. A long ray I have to draw. And this is point F. From point F I have to take A. As such that A dash F dash A. So A will be somewhere here and F A is 4.1. So let us take 4.1 on compass. So this is 4.1. From F I will make arc over here 
and this is my point A and how much distance it is from F that is 4.1 cm and this distance is 3.4 cm which is the radius. Now we have to draw perpendicular to this point E A. So let us draw perpendicular to segment E A. So what we have to do we have to put compass at E draw one arc at bottom and top put compass at A and draw intersecting arc. From these two intersecting arcs draw a segment or line which will be perpendicular to this. Now take a radius uh, at this intersection point and draw a circle which is passing from A. And these two points are suppose X and Y. And we have to draw now tangents from A point which are passing from X and Y. So this will be my first tangent. From point A to a circle and this will be my second tangent. So I got two tangents which are passing from point A and are tangent to circle. And which are these two tangents? Let us say tangent L and tangent M and these two are tangent segments drawn from one external point A and segment AX is equals to segment AY. Let us measure and find out whether it is correct or wrong. So this one is 13.5 and this one is also 13.5. So both the segments are equal. You know the theorem that tangent segments drawn from an external point are congruent and therefore segment XA will be congruent to segment XY. And here what is asked to draw tangents from external point A to a circle and we have done that. So now we are on fifth type of sum from geometric construction. Here we have to draw a circle whose center is P and we have to draw a arc AB whose major is 100 degree and from point A and B we have to draw the tangents. See we want a arc AB whose major is 100 degree and major of arc is equals to major of its central angle. And uh, so what will be the central angle that is angle APB that will be 100 degree. So this central angle we have to draw. If we draw this central angle then the arc which is drawn that arc measure will be also 100 degree. So first of all we have to draw a circle and here there is nothing told. So randomly we have to draw the circle. Here we don't have any radius which is given for circle. So randomly we can draw any type of circle. Mostly you can take 3 cm or 4 cm and draw like this circle. And keep center as P. So this is P. Now we have to draw an angle which is of 100 degree uh, central angle and for that first of all let me draw a base line let us take it as A so this is AP one ray of angle A, P, B and B will be passing from here but that angle we can't draw like that without taking measurement so let us put protector here and see here it is 90 and here it is 100. So now let's draw a ray which is passing from P. So 
So what is this B and what is this central angle major that is 100 degree and this R AB whose major is also 100 degree. Now from point A and B we have to draw tangents. So it's very easy to draw tangents from point A and B. We have to keep compass here and we have to draw two arcs. Same major you can take and you can put compass at B point and draw two arcs. Then little bit increase the compass, skip here and draw one arc here and here and keep here and draw the intersecting arcs. Now this will be a tangent which is passing from A. So I got one tangent which is passing from point A. Now let's draw from B. So take the compass and put your protector here. Put your compass here and draw one arc here and one arc here. Now put here your compass and draw intersecting arcs. And from that, the tangent which will pass from point B, we are going to get. So, this way we got two tangents. One is passing from A, other is passing from B of a circle. This tangent, let us call it tangent L and tangent L. So these are the two tangents which are passing from point A and B. And now we are on the last construction and if you are going to solve and learn how to draw this six construction, I am 100% sure that in March 2024 board exam you won't suffer from chapter construction. So in six sum we have to draw two triangles triangle abc and triangle lbn and both these triangles are similar in triangle abc major of segment ab is 5.1 cm angle b is 40 degree and segment bc's major a is 4.8 cm moreover the ratio of AC upon LN is given that is equals to 4 upon 7 and they are asking to construct triangle ABC and triangle LBN. When we observe these two triangle, which are these two triangle? Triangle ABC and triangle LBN. Can you see this B is its common vertex? And when B is its common vertex, the steps to draw a triangle which I am going to show that you must follow to get the correct both the triangles. So let's first of all draw triangle ABC and here AB is 5.1. So let us take base which is 5.1 centimeter. So this is 5.1. And it is, we will write BA because B is its common vertex and whatever the common vertex is there, it should be always kept at left. So don't write AB, B will go here. I want B at left, so I have written BA. And what is that major? That is 5.1 centimeter. Now angle B which is 40 degree, so let's take protector and draw 40 degree angle. So here it is 40 degree so this is my 40 degree angle and what is BC? BC is 4.8 centimeter so let's draw 4.8 centimeter so it is 4.8 centimeter and this is my C point 4.8 centimeter and let us intersect this point. Now what we have to do? We have to extend this BA ray and here we have to draw one ray 
there is no need to measure and draw just randomly draw the ray so i draw a ray now generally we have to take 1.5 on compass and we have to draw here seven r because 4 is to 7 is given ac upon ln is given 4 is to 7 so which is the larger number 7 is the larger number so we have to draw on this ray 7 arcs and generally you must take 1.5 so here also i am taking approximately 1.5 and draw the 7 arcs so let's count and try draw 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. Level it B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. Now what is given? AC is 4 times then L is 7 times. So here our smaller triangle ABC is there. So B4 you have to join with A. Because AC is 4, L is 7. So this is greater triangle. This is smaller and B4 we have to join with A. So let us join. Yes. So this is my A. And I have joined now. Now let us take compounds. And randomly like this you have to take some measure. And you have to draw here R. Same measure you have to take, put at B7. And you have to draw the R. Okay. Now do one thing, you have to keep here and you have to intersect here. For that you have to increase or decrease. Somewhat you can increase or decrease and try to intersect thoroughly. Now you keep here and draw the intersecting R. And from B7 and this you have to draw a line. And that line must be parallel to this line. So let us check whether it is yes. It is parallel. So it is point A here. So which point will come? For A the corresponding point to A is L. So this is L which I got. Now I have to draw L. And C to L. So somewhere it will be L here. And how to draw? Let us check out. Now put your compass once again here at point A. And draw like this R. Put the same major at L and draw arc like this once again. And now you have to put here and try to intersect this by increasing, decreasing. See I have intersect. Again put here and intersect. Now draw line which is passing from L and this intersection and it must be parallel to AC. Let us check out whether it will be parallel. See AC is like this. Move forward and yes, we are getting this line. This line, both lines are equal parallel. Even these two lines are parallel. And which is this vertex? C, corresponding vertex is N. So I have constructed both the triangles C. First triangle is A, B and C. And second triangle is L, B. L, B, N and both having common vertex that is B and these are the steps. Follow these steps and draw the correct triangles but this method is only used when there is a common vertex and here B is a common vertex and so we are using this method. So if you like today's my teaching please like it, share it and subscribe it. Today I have explained all six varieties of constructions which are expected in March 2024 paper. Do solve this and guaranteed you are going to score out of marks in geometric construction. So please, please, please if you understood my teaching and daily watching my videos, like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you all.